Hi, my name is Dan Adi, Engineering and Technical Sales for Detroit Speed, and today we're going to talk about Detroit Speed's brand new for 2016 full floater rear kit. The DSE full floater kit provides improved handling as well as predictable and consistent brake pedal height and tire contact patch. The elimination of axle deflection reduces brake knockback and increases bearing life. Now the DSE full floater kit can be used with a DSE 4 9 inch or a GM 12 volt. Now let's take a look at the brake system we can use with the full floater kit. With the DSE full floater kit, you can use either a C6 or a C7 bearing pack, which will allow you to use the factory ABS system. Now with the DSE C7 floater kit, you can use factory GM C7 rear brake system, with or without the parking brake, and you can use the ABS system if you choose. Now one of the features I like best about the DSE full floater kit is safety. As we see some of these 40 and 50 year old Camaros making runs around the road course in some of these smooth super speedways at 160 mile an hour plus, safety needs to be a concern. Now with a flanged axle, when it breaks, it's attached to the wheel and tire, so it's gonna come out of the rear housing. Now if I was in trouble out on the track, I'd much rather have four wheels attached to the car than three. Now the full floater kit will allow you to do that. Growing up in the drag racing world, I saw a lot of flanged axles break, the wheel and tire come out of the rear housing, and the car goes over the guardrail. That's not something we wanna see anywhere. So the full floater kit will also add safety to your vehicle. Now as I mentioned, you can use this system with or without the park brake. So I'm going to first just walk through how the park brake system goes together. Now the first thing, once we have our DSE housing end welded onto our Ford 9 inch with the DSE quad link brackets already installed, we'll press this seal in place and just grease the seal a little bit. Next we'll take our C7 park brake assembly that will come with your rear brake system and place it on over the DSE hub assembly. Now we've already got these DSE studs installed so it's ready to be assembled. Next, we'll take our hub spacer. Now there's two tapped holes here for the park brake mount that we want to line up with the slot of the park brake cable. Now this assembly is ready to install onto the housing end. There is one feature that locks it in place. As you can see, there's a little round boss here and then a recess in the spacer so that it can only go on in one position. Once we install it, we'll take a couple of these flange nylock nuts and just hold it on in place. We'll torque those at 95 foot-pounds later. Now with the DSC floater hub assembly attached to the housing end, we have our park brake mount that we need to install. So the first thing we'll do is just put that on those two tapped holes that I showed you on the hub spacer. Now there's a chamfered side and just a straight hole, so make sure the chamfered side goes up against the shield. We'll put some blue Loctite on those bolts and bolt it down to the hub spacer. Next, we'll show you about the ABS sensor. So what we've done here is we've assembled the DSC full floater system without the park brake assembly. Detroit Speed gives you this hub spacer to put in place of the park brake assembly so you have the right stack up. What we've also done is attach the caliber mount bracket to the housing end. And once we get that torqued up with red Loctite, we can look at this ABS sensor mount that we put in the hub spacer. So if you want to run your ABS system, your wire will just go in there like that and it'll bolt to the hub spacer. If you don't choose to use ABS, we offer you this little plastic plug that will just go in place, plug it off. Once we have our DSC full floater system assembled to the rear end, we'll need to get some axle shafts. The DSC sales and tech department will be happy to help you determine the correct length axle shafts you need and get them on order. Now before you get those installed, DSC offers this inner axle seal that comes with the full floater kit that will put on from the inside center section on the inside of the axle tube. So once you make sure that fits good, you want you to grease the O-rings as well as the inner seal area and then install that with a seal installation tool. Once that's in there and greased, we can slide the axle shaft into the rear end housing. We have this DSC billet aluminum cap with an O-ring that will install in the hub pack with some 1032 set screws. Now that that's done, we can show you we're going to install it in the DSC 69 Camaro test pack. Now that we have the DSC C7 rear floater kit installed, we're going to go ahead and place it up underneath the DSC 69 Camaro test car. With the test car, we have the DSC quadrilink installed, so we're going to attach these swivel links that are already mounted into the vehicle on the rear axle and put it in position. The lower link bolts will have to go in from the inside out with a nylock nut on the outside of the bracket. Now that we've got the lower links attached to the rear axle, we'll go ahead and raise up the rear end so we can get the upper links position. 
with the bushing end of the swivel link, we want to keep the flange to the outside of the vehicle. Now that we've got the upper and lower links connected to the rear end, we'll go ahead and install the track bar. So with the track bar, we'll keep the bushing flange to the back of the car. We're going to locate it in our nominal ride height position in the lower hole on the vehicle side track bar bracket. The next step will be to install our JRI Detroit tuned adjustable shocks. We're going to install the remote canister shocks into the DSC 69 Camaro test car. However, you can also get it as a base shock, single adjustable, or double adjustable. Then last, we'll install our DSC and a roll bar into the vehicle. Now you'll be ready to go with a DSC full floater rig. To summarize, the DSC full floater rear kit can be used with or without park brake assemblies, can be used with or without ABS, there's easy maintenance with no bearings to adjust or maintain, you can use stock GM C6 or C7 rear brakes, you can also use popular aftermarket brake companies like Bear, Brembo, Wilwood and more. Thanks for watching another edition of our DSC Tech video on the full floater kit. If you have any questions, call us at 704-662-3272 or visit us on the web at www.detroitspeed.com.